ever feel like all that marketing you are slogging away on is a giant waste of time and money? What if I told you you're right? Because sometimes it actually is a waste. Today I'm talking about the common marketing errors people are constantly making, plus what you can do to avoid them. Hi there, I'm Wendy White, business development strategist for Extraordinary Entrepreneurs. I help coaches, consultants, and other thought leaders land clients and make an extraordinary impact with their message. I'm so glad you found me. Hit the subscribe button and uh, get to know my world. Now, let's get to today's burning question. Is your marketing a giant waste of time and money? So, what do I mean when I say that your marketing is a waste of time and money? There is such a focus online on the marketing that it's very easy to lose sight of the fact that your business is not marketing. The point of your business is not marketing. All of that marketing, it's a tool to land you clients, to increase your impact and your income, but it is not an end in itself. This is where a lot of entrepreneurs get stuck and flounder for ages, not making enough income and not making enough of an impact. And I want better for you, don't you? So when is your marketing a giant, giant waste? Number one, when you're marketing to the wrong people. This sounds really obvious, right? But it's such a common problem. An issue I hear all of the time is, I've got this fantastic Facebook group and I'm putting out offers all of the time, but the people in there either aren't willing to invest or they're not able to invest in their business. So how do I get people who, to invest when they can't or they won't? My answer, you don't. Those are the wrong people. You need to figure out who are the right people, those people who are highly motivated to fix their issue, so much so that they are, yes, willing and able to invest time and money into it. Then you get yourself and your marketing in front of those people and let them know why you are the one they need to hire. The second time your marketing is a giant waste is when your message is confused. All the marketing. It's just a way of getting your message out there. If you don't have your message clear as crystal, none of the marketing is gonna work. Now your message is confused when you're not clear about who you wanna to speak to and what you wanna to say to them. You need to sort that first. Now I get it, if you're an emerging entrepreneur, you are probably still figuring this out, that's okay. It's gonna evolve the more you learn, but don't invest a ton of money or time into the marketing piece until you're really clear on this. Your message is also confused when you're speaking about and trying to convince your audience of like 40,000 different things. The more things they have to believe in order to hire you, the less chance you have of getting hired. This is why with my clients in Extraordinary Impact, we focus on getting that message nailed, who they're trying to reach and exactly what they need to say to them and how. We solidify that core message so that when we do the marketing, get the platform, get those right people listening, it actually works to get them hired. Sounds pretty good, right? So you need to get clear on your core marketing message and then put it everywhere. The third time when your marketing is a waste is when it doesn't lead directly to what you sell. It is a huge, huge mistake to create marketing that doesn't directly tie into what you're selling. We are never, ever, ever going to do that. You know how lots of people are advising to write a book as an excellent form of marketing? Well, true story. A colleague of mine spent a year, a whole year, writing a book about how to build a successful coaching practice as the centerpiece to her marketing. She interviewed all kinds of top successful coaches to be featured in this book in the hopes that by leveraging their platforms, all of that attention would get people to hire her. But here's the thing. She wasn't selling how to build a successful coaching practice. She was a copywriter. She wanted clients to hire her to write their copy. That entire book did nothing to either attract people looking to hire a copywriter or to show off her expertise and experience as a copywriter. So the marketing and sadly her business failed. 
So we are not doing that, okay? You need to make sure there is a direct line between what you are doing in your marketing and selling your thing, whatever your thing is. And you need to make sure that your prospect can connect those dots. When you're out there posting on social media, when you're making videos, when you're getting media attention, whatever it is, you need to make sure there are breadcrumbs that lead back from those quotes and posts and videos and recipes, whatever you're putting out, to your paid offers. If not, you may get attention, but you won't get hired. With my clients, we make sure all of their marketing is directly connected to their paid offer and is showing off how they work, and you need to do the same. The marketing should be a taste of what she gets when she hires you, and you need to make sure she understands that. Finally, your marketing is a waste when it's not getting a decent return on investment. Periodically, you need to pull back and look at what you're doing and ask yourself, is this even working? And if it's not, you need to adjust, even if you love it. Getting you attention, having fun with your marketing, that's all fantastic, and I want that for you. But you have a business. If your marketing isn't bringing you paying clients, you're doing it wrong. This is why this summer I tore down my free Facebook group after two and a half years because even though I love so much about it and it was working as a place to establish that no like and trust factor and it did bring me some fantastic clients, it wasn't working well enough. It was taking up way too much of my time and my money for the return on investment and I knew it was holding me back. And I was really starting to resent the crap out of it for exactly that reason. So it had to go. In its place, getting my video content onto YouTube. And it's early days yet, but it's already getting me a better return on investment. And as a bonus, I'm having way more fun. So your takeaways for today. Take a good hard look at your marketing and ask yourself, are you marketing to the right people? Is your message crystal clear? Does your marketing lead directly to what you sell? And are you getting a decent return on investment? If not, you know what you need to do. I hope you found that helpful. If you like this video, please hit the like button below and make sure to share it with your friends. And be sure to subscribe because I'm sharing strategies like this every week and you don't wanna miss one, do you? Also make sure to hit the bell and get notifications. And if you want more help on this, you are welcome to join us for the after party in Wing Women. And I'm going to drop that link right below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Now, go be extraordinary.